Buddha. YouTube, what is going on you guys man it is your boy demon working back with another banger for y'all and today i got the best finishing badges in my opinion in nba 2k23 now trust me i've played a lot of rec games and i've just now made this 6 9 slashing type build and trust me these badges that I've been using on this 6ix9ine has been getting me the best contacts, me finishing layups through contacts, spin dunks, Euro dunks, contact alleys, whatever you want to call it. When it comes to finishing that ball, if you put these badges on, I guarantee you will have no problem doing that. But before we get to the badges, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 500 subs. I think we bought six or seven subs away and I would greatly appreciate it if you enjoyed the video if you hit that sub button hit that like button if you already subbed up even if you were new sub go ahead hit that like button we are really about to start this wave we about to we about to make it happen that's all i'm gonna say and uh comment if you are enjoying the nba 2k 23 me personally i'm very i'm enjoying it very very much so like i said hit that subscribe button let's get into it let's get into these finishing badges that you are gonna want to put on any slashing build that you got the first badge I've been working on is my slithery finisher on silver. I know they took the finishing part out, but slithery on silver. I at first I had it on gold, but I needed you'll see why why I can't have it on gold. But slithery is tough. When you're doing spin dunks, when you're doing lays, you can definitely avoid the rim the average rim protecting big man. And trust me, finishing in this game, if you know how to do it right, it is so smooth. Acrobatic layups go in. A lot of things are way different than it was last year. So trust me, these badges, in my opinion, really, really work this year, finally. I can't wait till I'm able to get this on Gold or Hall of Fame. But with this build I got, I have to core Posterizer Gold first, so I'm working on that. But with Posterizer Gold, I will be able to get Silver Aerial Wizard. Now, Aerial Wizard is basically Live City Finisher. The green window's way bigger when you got this badge on. You get a lot more contact animations out of lobs. So it's not a lot of getting stopped in the air unless you cut off. I'm trying to tell you, Aerial Wizard is one of them ones that just, one of them badges that are sneaky. If you read it, it doesn't seem that appealing, but I like to go for putbacks. I love alley-oops. I get backdoor cut lobs, fast break lobs. Highlight plays, if you want highlight plays, put Aerial Wizard on. And trust me, if you got this badge on, Go for putbacks. If you think your teammates are gonna miss, go for the putback. Y'all seen in the, in the beginning, I got a clean little putback and I basically didn't even think I was gonna get it. I just ran for it, held square, and I got a putback. If I didn't have this badge on, he probably would've tried to do a layup. I'm not saying it's not possible to dunk or to put back or alley you without the badge. It just makes the window, and makes the chances way, way bigger. And honestly, there's not a lot of other badges in the finishing that's really rewarding for like slashing type of builds, not paint dominant big man. We talking about slashing to the basket, running to the basket and finishing. So Aerial Wizard is definitely one of them ones. Um, honorable mentions, honorable mentions, Fearless Finisher is pretty decent this year. I don't use it, but if I was a small, my um, three point playmaker, I do leave it on bronze. And sometimes I do make contact layups. 
So if you're a smaller guard and really can't dunk like that and you really focus on layups, I think Fearless, it will be your best option because Fearless is actually pretty decent. I'm trying to tell you, you finish through contact and you don't lose a lot of energy from it, even if you miss. So trust me, if you're a smaller guard, go ahead and try Fearless. If you're a bigger guard and you can dunk highly, I really wouldn't use Fearless. Fearless is kind of pointless in my opinion. The next badge that it's kind of tricky to me this year because I've been using this badge ever since I made this build and the build's already almost done aside from the shooting because I don't really shoot like that on this build, but he can. Limitless takeoff is very tricky. It doesn't really trigger as much as I think. So these might be one of the badges I knocked down in the silver. But for right now, I do have it on gold, but I, you can see the bar at the bottom for me. I've been using it and all I do is dunk. It doesn't really activate unless you try to dunk from like a certain distance. Me, I just, I know my spots. If you know your spots of your player, you don't, don't listen to no badge. Do what's comfortable for you. So limitless takeoff for me might not be as important as it might be for some of y'all. Y'all might like to try to attempt to dunk way earlier than I do. I like to get to the rim a little bit more closer before I took the contact or a dunk like that. So if you do something like that, just go ahead and put silver or gold limitless all on. But right now, I got gold limitless. Now, this arguably is one of the best badges in the game. But disclaimer, if you are 6'7 and below or maybe, maybe 6'6, don't put this badge on read the description very very carefully it only works if you're trying to finish over a smaller defender this badge does not work if i'm 6 9 going up on the 6 11 6 10 7 foot it doesn't work but since i have a my finisher right here is 6 9 when i have them little guards on me that 6 5 6 6 even if they take me out of a contact dunk animation I'm still gonna be able to easily lay the ball up over them. Masher is in, I, I'm not a proud pay masher, but at the same time, if you come out there with a small build that really not a good paint defender, you should be able to get bullied like that. There's a lot of guards in the league that get mismatched on the bigger people and they get bullied. It's real basketball. If you're smaller, you need to get treated like you're smaller. It's just simple as that. So Masher for me is a must. And if you can, it don't make the mistake by going 6'8", because sometimes when you go 6'8", they put this badge in tier 3. And you don't want this badge in tier 3, because this badge is not worth tier 3. Tier 2 is perfect, even if you get it in tier 1, throw it on. But me, Masher on Gold is a complete must-have on a taller type of finishing build, especially my case 6'9". It's beautiful. Now, we got seven points left. I think we all know where I'm going with this. As you can see, I'm still working on it. Once I can get it gold, which I will very, very soon. Once I can core it on gold, it's over. Posterize. I mean, this has been the badge to use for years. I even really have to explain it. You dunk all over people. And this year, if you know how to use the meter, which is, for some people that don't know, you use the right trigger, flick the right analog stick up and down, down, up, whatever you want to do. I do up and down. I, down, up usually never works for me. Usually activates the posterizer. You will dunk on everybody in traffic. You don't got to worry about nobody trying to block your shot. Yes, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say you make every poster, but gold poster is just beautiful. But some honorable, honorable mentions that I can't wait to be able to put on. Like I said, it's either gonna be it's either gonna be area wizard higher, or actually I might go one lower because bronze is pretty fine. It's already live city finisher. I'm either gonna rock a fast twitch because I'm six nine. If I get in that paint, I just wanna go up fast. I don't wanna have a chance for a big man getting a back scratch or block or something, even though I don't use them. Bully, eh, it's okay. I mean, I thought this badge would be way more effective, but bu bully's not all that. I mean, it, it's decent. Maybe I just need to try it because I haven't been able to try it yet, but maybe I need to try it and it might be a good badge, but for now, it's, it's just straight posterizer. Rise up, big men only. Fearless finish, like I said, if you're a smaller guard, and but Slithery is the tier one badge that you do want to use. And that's basically it. These five badges, in my opinion, is going to get you to where you need to go. 
like I said, honorable mention, maybe uh, fearless, maybe John Slayer for smaller guards. But if I'm six nine. John Slayer really wouldn't trigger for me like that. Let's go up on a big man. And if I go up on a big man, I ain't doing no layup. I'm going to kill. So this is layup attempts. It's not really dunks. But hey, these are the finishing badges that I will use that I am using. I really hope y'all take some of this knowledge and, and use it to the y'all best advantage. I really hope it works out for y'all. It should work out for y'all. If not, hey, y'all can blame me. Y'all can dislike. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. That's on me. But these badges should treat you right. It's been a good video. It's your boy, Demon Working. Hit that like and subscribe if you're new. Next video video will be the best lockdown video i personally believe it's the best lockdown i'm gonna get y'all inside scoop the lockdown has 99 still that's all you gotta say it, it's very 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 glitchy but i really hope y'all enjoyed this video go ahead and destroy that like button for your boy hit that subscribe button we are like six subs away from 500 so go ahead and be a part of that that, that uh subscribe goal for your boy it's been a good one. Until next time, it's your man Demon working. I'm out this thing.